I'm trying to think, do I even have a memory of when I was five years old? No, I don't. You don't. You don't. So that could have, this could have happened. Literally, it could have happened to either. And you would never either. know. Exactly. And I wouldn't care. Who would win in a fight? Conor McGregor or a thousand third graders? <laughs> This is so funny because I feel like we've all asked this question like different Oh, 100%. You know? 100%. And I think it comes down to, is it a thousand all at once or is it like waves and waves and waves? Oh, that's that's the best question. A thousand all at once, I feel like could overwhelm him for sure. It's got to be like a... Like a bus load. So what is that? Like 50 kids at a time? Third graders? How about How about 10 at a time? Oh, he so, could go on forever with 10 at a time, I feel like. It's <laughs> until he just gets tired. <laughs> 100 at a time. 100 at so a time. So he's 10 ways of 100. Like he's like Call of Duty Zombies, but with his fist. <laughs> I think he could do I it. I think he could do it. Because think of how easily you could disable a third game. <laughs> I don't think so about fun. that. that I don't think so about that. <laughs> Why do you think about so that? How easily could you sleep a third grader, though? Just one little like elbow, one little backhand. They're knocked hey, out. Bro, they can't handle what if pain. Some of, them, some of them are big. No, they're crying. They're on the floor crying. Even if you don't hit them well, like they're just <laughs> they're already crying. Yeah, incapacitated for sure. You think he, he's getting winning? Yeah, he's winning. For okay, sure. but okay, but the real question is, he probably would win against a thousand. Mm-hmm. The best question now, at at what number could he not win? If it's so, if it's waves of a hundred at a time. Yep. Okay. No. 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 Because. If it's waves at a hundred a time, that's just his, he could just keep going. Yeah, it's just stamina at that point. Yeah, it's just it's just based on stamina. How about at what number could he not like a one take big on? wave? Yeah, 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 yeah. At, at the entire time, I, I would drop. I'm, I'm underestimating how many kids a hundred is. I think <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna drop it down to like two fifty to five hundred. I don't think he could take on five hundred at, at a single time. That's crazy. Could five hundred even attack him efficiently? At- at one time. Okay, think about it this way too. Like, I don't know. What's the average rate of a third grader? <laughs> <laughs> what's the average weight of a third grader? Like sixty pounds, maybe. Okay. Imagine strapping sixty pounds like on each of your limbs, right? And still trying to fight because like you can't swim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's not waves of like ten, like there's gonna be a kid that can lock. They're gonna find a way to lock. Okay. Lock, uh, lock up, this is a good example. Like some. I don't know, like, there's, like, um, movies where, like, there's, like, summer camp counselors, and they're, like, wrestling, like, play fighting with kids, and they're just grabbing onto their arms. Like, that would have to be the tactic that they go with, Yes, you know? yes. Just trying to weigh yeah. him down so he can't swing anymore. Exactly. That changes it, actually. Actually, maybe it's not even that much. Maybe only, like, 50. Like, me? I was thinking, like, even, like, 10, th- if 10 third graders get a good grasp on his As arm. As a good coach. <laughs> I'm a good coach. <laughs> if 10 third graders, like grab onto each of his arms and stuff like that like he probably can't swing anymore yeah wait so maybe we can change that maybe my answer changes. nah because then he's a trained fighter yeah oh uh, also like he's he also he, a he trained even fighter let them get yeah exactly the he's trained in being able to avoid attacks like that you know like he's also a wrestler not just a boxer okay like okay. he can slip out of stuff that easily. But still, if it's one full wave, <laughs> like he can't just like keep spinning and backfisting them. Like he's got to like. I'm thinking 200. He's going just like pop and then just like weave in bop, and then like bop, trying to bop. Yeah, quick little punches. <laughs> a football field of 250 kids. So he can run around. Oh, he has a lot of space. How about, no, how about like an MMA ring? We can't even fit 200 kids in a ring. Royal, <laughs> just like a wrestling ring, and they're just climbing over the ropes one at a time, <laughs> wave after wave. <laughs> He's easily winning if yeah, it's USC, and it's like waves, kind of like yeah. The not, more space, the better, obviously for yeah, him. Yeah, If it's space, he can go. He can go for like five hundred. But if it's an octagon, he could probably only go for like thirty. <laughs> the other thing I'm thinking of is, what if he knocks out the first third grader, and all the other ones just get terrified <laughs> and they don't like, even want to go. <laughs> Oh my god, they, he killed Timmy! <laughs> That's funny. All right. Imagine your child was switched at birth, but you don't find out till five years later. What would you do? Like five years later, would I switch it back? Yeah, he's a five year So you raise him, him for five from, years? Yeah, birth to five years. Oh, that's so tough. It's like your child at that point. 
Uh, but it's also not your child. <laughs> dude, if it, yeah, if it <sighs> five years. That's a long that's time. Not that, that's I mean, a long time, but it's not the it's same not, bond as like when they can actually like speak. That's true. Because like the first, what, two years of their life, they're not really understanding who their parents are, I guess, that kind of thing. Okay. I'm going to go about this really nerdy. If there was like a study <laughs> mm-hmm. like on the average percentage of like when the, they would actually give up their child, I would say like in the first three years, I think majority of people, not majority, but a lot more people would. Oh, like fostering their kids? Yeah, yeah. versus the first... Like, if you're already all the way to a teenager, who cares? You love them. Yeah. But if you if you haven't even built, like, a real... Like, Relationship with them. Emotional connection. bond. Yeah. Like, not just an emotional bond, but, like, a... Like, a, a speaking. I think once they could, like, actually oh, speak and form hold sentences... A, hold a conversation. Yeah, hold a conversation. That Then that it's, like, sense. really... Yeah. Really different. So you'd be okay with just switching? I would be okay with switching only, but only if like, um, but like, uh, what am I trying to say? It has to be to the point to where like, to where number one, the other person is uh, like the other family's okay with it. Right. And number two. Also, um, you're like assuming they're raised properly. Yeah. Yeah. By the other family. And yeah, that number, yeah, we're assuming that and Mm -hmm. then assuming like, the kids aren't going to be negatively affected by it. I'm trying to think, do I even have a memory of when I was five years old? No, I don't. You don't. You don't. So that could have, this could have happened. Literally, it could have happened to either. And you would never anyways. know. Exactly. And I wouldn't care. If, okay, yeah. So, okay, so a good question. Would you care if you were... Um, if I found out, yeah. like, now. That or, like, that you were just adopted. I don't think so. And th- your your parents, like, chose to never tell you, though. Mm, I would hope that at this point in my life they would have told me, but I wouldn't be that upset about it just because I know that they're the ones that raised me and like made me the person yeah. I am. I wouldn't care one. Yeah, bit. I think I don't think I would care. Yeah, like it would, it would kind of be sh- like crappy to find out, and then you'd have to go through the whole process of like finding your real parents. You don't I have to. to. I, you don't have to. I think I would personally, mm. just for my own sake. Yeah, like find reasonings why they would, you know, put me up for adoption or whatever. Yeah. I, but I just know. being switched at birth and the, like it's a hospital fuck up, <laughs> that's kind of messed up. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, five years old. Yeah, blah, blah, yeah. Like you said, I don't think it's that's enough time to like form a bond with that child. I mean, obviously you're forming a bond, but like it's you said, it's a different type. It's like a. It's just raising them. It's not like a emotional like. It's not a, yeah. It's like a superficial surface connection. bond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's yeah. not like a psychological kind of connection. Like when you're talking to them, like you said, right. If it was older, like 10 years. Kindergarten. Because I think kindergarten is five years old. What if he's a little shit, though? <laughs> All right, I'm giving him a... I'm just kidding. I knew this wasn't my kid. Oh, that Yeah, I think it's like sucks, three. It's like three. So you have two years of talking... They can already like do five? math. They can form full sentences. They understand right from wrong. Five, five's a really good number. <laughs> five's, five's like a pretty good number. At three, they don't really understand. At okay, five, yeah, you're hundred percent right. Because yeah, I'm gonna, understand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no then. Because yeah, the kid's gonna be negative effect. He'd be like, wait, why am I not living why, with yeah. mom and dad anymore? Why am I moving my house exactly. and have different parents now? Exactly. Yeah. Uh yeah, the kid would probably be. Oh yeah, I, they were, I did underestimate what. A five-year-old is same, capable same. of, just because I thought, looking back, like I don't even remember when I was five or anything that happened when I was five. But in this kind of a situation, like you would definitely remember. Yeah, I guess my strategy would be to like, if that were to happen, and I would honestly contact the other family, try to I get in contact, and then hope try to, to try to just make it seem like to seem to the, the kids that we're just all one family. Yeah. Because they're gonna find out eventually, That's and if the they grew up with do. like two families, That's two Christmases, like, bro. Yeah, it'll be like it'll be kind of cool. Yeah, that's actually really good. Because it's that's not as bad as having divorced parents. I'm not, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah, it could kind of seem like that, but it it's not the same. That's just always a part of you, but yeah, you can live with that. I feel like yeah.